Idiopathic intracranial hypertension, or IIH, essentially is a buildup of extra spinal fluid in the spine and skull that causes pressure to be exerted on the brain and the nervous system. This then has a number of symptoms, the main three being severe headaches, visual changes due to swollen optic nerves, papillary edema, and a whooshing noise in one or both ears that is correlated with a pulse, pulse synchronous tinnitus. Nobody knows what causes it, and there is no cure. I was diagnosed with IIH 10 years ago, but doctors think that I've had this illness close on 20. I also have a very complex blood clotting disorder. Factor 8C, von willebrand jorgens low protein S, and a rare prothrombin gene mutation, gene 20210A. It means that I'm a bleeder, but I also have microscopically small blood clots and I'm at high risk for thrombosis and aneurysms. And if all of that wasn't enough yet, I've recently been diagnosed with diabetes. In the beginning they tried treating the IIH with medication, but the side effects were worse than the illness itself, and that is saying something. Some of the liver and kidney problems I now have are being attributed to my taking Diamox for a couple of years a diuretic used to treat the condition. I have had 21 lumbar punctures to relieve the pressure prior to my shunt surgery. In 2004 they took a 24-hour intracranial pressure reading and in 2005 in order to avert ensuing blindness they inserted a ventricular peritoneal shunt which is basically like a pressure valve in the skull that opens up if the pressure is too great and drains the excess spinal fluid into the stomach cavity. That gave me great relief for a short period of time, but soon after the symptoms returned. They include constant headaches, nausea, severe neck pain, numbness and tingling of hands and feet, motor dysfunctions, visual dysfunctions like tunnel vision, blurry vision or black spots, short-term memory loss, insomnia, aphasia, and some issues with comprehension, blackouts, and severe mood swings. The list goes on and on. I honestly cannot remember the last time I did not have a headache, nor the last time I've had a good uninterrupted night's sleep. Most nights I have to stay up until my body simply shuts down. I cannot remember a time where any form of physical exercise did not cause the headaches to become insufferable. I used to love playing sports. I was a competitive swimmer and I took first place at the British Tank Sudo Championships many years ago. I used to ride the rodeo, play volleyball and handball. I used to do gymnastics and judo. Now I cannot even get up and down our stairs a few times without the headache getting really bad. Most days, just getting out of bed in the morning is a real battle. I cannot work anymore, even though I really want to, as I love my job. I'm a makeup artist, and a good one at that. But on a bad day, my hands shake, my vision is blurry, and the headache makes concentrating on anything almost impossible. We moved around a lot over the last 15 years due to personal and financial problems, so I constantly had to change doctors, and each time it was the same spiel. In most cases, they've never even heard of IIH, and if they did, it was just vague information from a textbook they had picked up many years ago or an article in some medical journal. They usually then promised to read up on it, and some of them did. Some even actively tried to help me, but they got nowhere fast. There are many myths about the causes of IIH, but nothing concrete, and many hypotheses have long been proven wrong. There just is not enough information out there, not enough research being done, especially, it seems, in mainland Europe. I encounter so much ignorance from doctors, the government authorities, health insurance, and just from people in general. 
I have been turned down for disability, and it was suggested that I should not waste my time or theirs by applying for it again, and so far I have not had the strength to start that battle up again. Several times over the last years I tried getting doctors to listen. I went through the whole rigmarole time and time again, the CT scans, MRIs, and each time I hear the same results. Your shunt should be working. We don't know why you still have symptoms. Sorry, we can't help you any further. Each time, I get more and more discouraged. Each time I doubt my own sanity a little more. When people keep telling you that y what you know to be true, what you believe is happening, isn't, what are you supposed to think? My family and friends have suffered greatly due to my being ill, and still do. My children know what is going on, but they don't understand why mommy simply doesn't function on days, and on others everything is okay. Most friends turn their back, and to be honest, I don't blame them. As a result of this long-term chronic illness, I started to suffer from depression as well. And that, coupled with the mood swings, does not make for a very agreeable nature. What gets to me most is the unpredictability of IIH. There are days where I function well, where I can cope with the pain and I'm quite able to get things done and then the next day nothing works. My brain feels all jumbled. I'm crippled with apathy, and the world just feels unreal. It seems like being an outsider, standing beside your life and watching it head for a train wreck, and being able to do absolutely nothing about it. These days, I try to pretend I'm not ill. I avoid doctors like the plague, although my husband more or less forces me to go and I wouldn't know what to do without him. My resolution this year is to make yet another attempt of getting help in yet another hospital as we have moved again last year. But I would rather suffer in silence than have one more ignorant doctor tell me that they cannot help me, that they don't know what is wrong, or that there is nothing more they can do. I wish for nothing more than a cure. <laughs>